hello guys welcome back to a brand new video today um as you can probably tell um i'm bringing back one of my uh, original series that I started this channel with uh it's called football in this uh this week of football sorry um now you might be saying why is it in the middle of the week um and all that but there is an explanation if I do it on the beginning of the week, uh, I can miss some things out. But this way, I could get some weekend news in, cup news, championship league on the Tuesday, and next week, for Wednesday, that be in next week's episode. So it all makes sense like that. Um, as I've just said, don't, it's 10 big stories, so it don't cover my club, it covers clubs all over the globe. If you have a big story at your club, let me know, and I will try to get it in next week's episode. But guys, anyway, let's start this week. Guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So number one is Brighton only lost 1-0 to Liverpool um, at Anfield. Perhaps should have been more. Uh, Brighton had the odd chance, I went up there. Um, I think a 1 0 defeat to Liverpool went bad for Brighton. Um, but I don't think it's that good for Liverpool. I think if I was a Liverpool fan, they would have been more gutted that they didn't get more out of that game to keep pressure on City. Um, now, speaking about City, they are my number two. I'd only join one all with uh, Wolves on the weekend. Um, obviously. Their goal was controversial, I'll speak about more about that in a minute. But Man City now needs to find three points and hope that Liverpool step up to get back on top. Um, so it's going to be quite interesting this weekend. Um, obviously, going into the first international break of the season. Uh, as I just said, Wolves' goal was controversial, it bounced off his arm. Um, obviously, handball. Um, now I know a lot of you fans are going to possibly uh, disagree with this but this is what I call the VAR um, I've seen it a few times uh, definite handball how the linesman didn't pick it up I will never know but this is what I'm saying VAR must come into the game sooner rather than later to stop uh, incidents happening like that uh, Number four. Now, even though I did be Brighton last night, um, Southampton only picked up one point in the Premier League at the minute. Uh, con is that win last night with Brighton a bit controversial? As Mark has managed to shave his job for a few more weeks than what the Southampton board was expecting. We have to wait and see. But I think if Southampton don't start picking up points soon, they could find themselves in real trouble. Um, but as I said, we have to wait and see. Um, I'm off down a few weeks to the Brighton Southampton game. So I'm interested to see that. Uh, same with number five. West Ham still yet to pick up any points in this win in this uh, season. Um, now, with me with West Ham, you obviously know if you're in my latest videos that I do think they're strengthening in the wrong areas. The way that Southampton played against Brighton last night, that's how West Ham should be playing. Stretch wide and stop the players coming off the wings. Obviously that's how a lot of people get getting against each other over, outstretching the unplanned through in the middle, where you're not using the wings at all and they just bounce off the wings. So I'm interested to see if West Ham do start this season. Um, Still a long way to go, um, obviously, but it's got to be an interesting uh, season for them. Sorry. Um, but we have to wait and see for that one as well. Um, number six, Tom, uh, QPR won a game with a Tom Hemme goal. Now, obviously, as I've said, Brighton's a uh, Brighton fan, I'm from Brighton, um, 
lending them out on loan. I don't think that's the best idea for Brighton. Um, I still reckon he should have had a rush out over Glen Murray. Um, obviously, when I went to the uh, Brighton game last night, I sat in a different area than what I'm used to, and I could see where the trouble lies with Brighton. Um, but I ain't gonna get bogged in with that now. But yeah, QPR did get their first win with a Tommy Hemmick goal. Good luck, Tom. Good luck, QPR. Um, Fulham beating Burnley 4 2 in the Premier League. Uh, pick up their first three points. Now, with Burnley, I did say you're going to play European football. You do need to strengthen in the window. They didn't, and now it looks like they're paying the price. As uh, far as I know, they're in the bottom three in the early stages. But, off, off, yeah, again, if you don't start picking up points, you could get left behind. Uh, my number eight is that Michael King, uh, Mike, yeah, Michael King, um, has got a, fractured his skull, um, in a, in a draw with Bournemouth, um, now I hope you're a speedy recovery, um, Michael King, um, but, I suppose that's the risk you take with, when you're playing football, especially in defence and you have to jump for headers. Uh, my number nine is that Kevin Oler has been sat from Notts County. Big story, um, obviously didn't reach the playoff final. Um, what I've heard, got off to a bit of a bad start. I would have kept him for the time being, um, it's only early. So that would have been a bit interesting if you did keep him a bit longer. Um, and my number 10, as I said, it's the e EFL Cup. But now we have beaten Villa 1-0. Um, obviously a championship team out for a League 1 team. So, you know, this EFL Cup can see it getting pretty interesting over the next couple of rounds. But anyway guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end here. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.